Hello. This video is the first in a sequence of videos on ways to synthesize alcohols through nucleophilic addition reactions. This video is going to give an overview of nucleophilic addition as a, as a process and a mechanism, and then we're going to go into two specific types of reactions, hydride transfer reductions and Grignard reactions. So a nucleophilic addition reaction is a reaction of carbonyl compounds. Um, we're going to be generic here about what kind of carbonyl compound we're going to have. And it is a reaction where, uh, at least in the cases we're going to talk about in this video series, we have some sort of nucleophile and that nucleophile is usually an anion. And we have some sort of proton source uh, that we have. Now, depending on the identity of the nucleophile and, and whatnot, the proton source may be in the reaction. It might be connected or related to the nucleophile. It might be something we need to add later as a workup. Uh, and when I get to the videos on the specific reactions, uh, I will share the different types of proton sources. And so this reaction then ends up synthesizing a, an alcohol with a new bond coming off the alcohol uh, coming off the carbon to the nucleophile. And from a... I'm going to draw for you a generic mechanism for this reaction to get a sense of what's going on. Get our generic carbonyl compound. Uh, and generally we're talking mostly about aldehydes and ketones here, but uh, we could be talking about other types of carbonyl compounds. Um, <clears throat> oops. There we go. So, in generic mechanism for this kind of reaction, we have our nucleophile attack uh, our carbonyl carbon, carbon oxygen pi bond breaks. We form a new bond between carbon and the nucleophile, whatever our nucleophile was. Ooh, I forgot to add R groups up here. Hold on. Let's, let's make it look a little bit like this. All right. And then, uh, and so we generate this alkoxide anion intermediate, uh, which is probably not what we want. So now we need our proton source something that can be uh, an, an, an acid of some kind. So we use a generic HA at the moment. Proton transfer, pick up an extra proton. Generate our alcohol product. Turns out in the, the world of organic chemistry, there are a wide range of nucleophiles that can do this, but we are really going to focus in this series of videos on hydrogen nucleophiles and carbon nucleophiles. Before I wrap up this video, you might ask, be asking yourself, well, well now wait a minute, the carbon oxygen double bond, it's a double bond, that's pretty strong. Uh, What's this nucleophile doing coming in here and breaking that bond? Let's just very quickly uh, talk about the carbonyl group as an electrophile. And then we'll wrap up this video and move into the specific reactions. Here is, here is our carbonyl group, and I'm instead of having R groups, I'm just going to have methyl groups. So this is uh, 2-propanone or acetone. 
And I'm going to go ahead and put in my lone pairs on the oxygen. I don't normally draw lone pairs uh, because by this point, most folk, most people in their study of organic chemistry uh, are expected to be able to understand uh, from a structure where lone pairs might be. Actually, I don't want this. Um, but what you might not know or remember uh, is that there is another resonance contributor that can be drawn. Whoops for a carbonyl group that moves uh, the electron pair in the pi bond up to the oxygen to form another lone pair. I uh, don't like that I'm not given a lot of choices here and where I put my negative charge. This is a little bit awkward, here we go. <clears throat> and leaving behind a carbocation on the carbon. Now, what is true is that the, uh, the resonance contributor on the left is more important overall. Uh, it doesn't have a separation of charge. Everything has its octet. It's nice and neat, but this second resonance structure explains why explains why that CO bond is more electrophilic than you would expect. Otherwise, as given things, because there's a resonance structure here that has the carbon with some partial positive uh, character and more partial positive character more partial plus at the carbon you know, than you know, then induction alone or electronegativity differences alone should be able to uh, should be able to explain. So carbonyl group is actually a, an, a reasonable electrophile for a number of types of nucleophiles. And as I mentioned, we're going to focus in this video series on hydrogen nucleophiles and carbon nucleophiles, starting with the hydrogen nucleophiles in the next video. Thank you for watching.